Good early afternoon, everyone. T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibet OG. So I had to come back with this urgent update. Bitcoin is down over 1300 right now but the problem is is if we break through this yellow trend line that i put out there before that would be used as a support it's the only reason it's been out there so you see how it's using a support if we break through that we break through a big part of this pattern and we're getting awfully close to that and then you break through this 50,000, guys if we break through 55,000, you can already see what's going to happen here we have a long ways down to 50 and then 40 so just be very cautious. This is a support resistance area now where we're using the top 58.2 would be used as resistance in this area. Support would be this blue line wrap, but likely 55,000. Um, before we go any farther and get into XRP, please hit that like button, turn that bell notification to all because you can see me right when my content comes out. This, if, we're, if you're new or returning subscriber, hit that subscribe button. 23% of you are not. But we've been getting a lot more newer faces in here. And also, if you guys have ever wanted to donate to my channel, I have a good cause. Between what I've put together so far, some of the community fund, and a very generous donation from IQ, who made some money on Fortuna Silver Mines with me. We did pretty well um, over the last week. He made a very generous donation. And I'm trying to... He didn't know this at the time, but I, I filled him in on what I'm using the money for. But the community fund, I'm trying to build it to $650. There's a single mom in my audience who I've been going back and forth with for weeks. And prior, her light bill, you know, her lights were off. So I gave her the $100 out of our community fund to pay her light bill. And we've been talking and she's really struggling with, you know, with the virus going around. She lost her job. So it's, uh, it's a very tough time. So I'm trying to build up my community fund to $650 so that we can help keep her lights on for the holiday or keep her uh, in her apartment for the holidays because nobody needs to lose their uh, house especially when they're a single mom or their apartment so it's tough times the community fund with a very generous donation from iq and some of you that have donated over the last month and a half two months we're at just about 400 dollars, and i'm trying to build it to 650 dollars. if i have to i'm going to put my own money into it even more so if you guys have ever wanted to donate and pay it forward for me doing what i do i do this for free and all your donations i always pay them forward so if you're ever on the fence about donating to my channel this is the reason why I do something different than anybody on YouTube and I really do pay it forward and help people that are struggling. So keep that in mind. I do a lot of work. I don't ever ask for anything. So I'm asking right now, pay it forward, send a donation so that I can do what's right for the holiday season for the single mom. Also, if you want to join Tom's Army, we have 166 current members. Make sure to watch that advanced market show that I did yesterday. I shout out each and every person that is part of Tom's Army from all the way to the very first OG Gary which was almost five months ago, my oldest OG of Tom's Army, paid member, all the way to the newest member eight days ago. So if you want to join Tom's Army, break the streak of eight straight days without an Army member, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, think about paying it forward, even if it's $1. We can get up to that $650. I have a big enough audience. I've almost got $400 in the community fund right now. And I'm going to give every last penny to pay this rent. So... Like I said, I don't talk about it often, but this is something that needed to be talked about, needed to be done. So if you have saved any money for me, if I'm helping you with any money, please pay it forward. Even if it, even if you have one choice to join Tom's Army or pay it forward this month by sending a $10 donation, send a donation. I'd much rather not have a member of Tom's Army and help this person stay in their apartment. So with that, I digress. And I've been talking to her back and forth for weeks. Very nice lady. Very rough circumstance with what's going on. And everybody needs a little bit of help every now and then. That's the number one message I can give you. And if you can, do it. So $1.06 was the support line. And guys, we actually bounced off the dollar six perfectly. The problem is, is the way this is going, we didn't have any increased volume. And it looks like we're going to use this resistance at $1.13 now if we even get up there. But you can see Bitcoin starting to roll over here like we've been fearing the last few days. And in the one hour, the two hour, you can definitely see it starting to roll over it's using my support line, the blue one that I put. And you can see why I did it, guys. We had the upper resistance. And then we had right here where we dropped off. So logically, if we came up to the um, symmetrical triangle to the top, this would be used as our resistance on a downtrending line. So that's why I did support resistance, and I, or the support line. So that's why we did that. 
that's what is likely going to happen. We could have made a bounce to 58.2 still. We don't know. As long as it doesn't break that blue line and most importantly the red line, we still have a support structure. So that's what we're looking at. Make sure to pay attention. And please, guys, if you've ever wanted to give to my channel, this is a perfect cause. It won't even go in my pocket, so you wouldn't even have to fear that, which it never does. I always keep it in the community fund. But So if you guys are wondering why I haven't sent out any XRP tokens, it's because I am trying to build this up, and I think this is more important than an XRP token. So I've been in that spot before where I was desperate. I know some of you have, so help me pay it forward. Again, watch the crypto markets. It's very tricky right now. Bitcoin's struggling to stay above 56,000. XRP's back below $1.10. So this could be a very, very dangerous spot here for anybody looking to make a quick swing trade. But like I said, if Bitcoin can hold this line right here, especially the blue line, you don't want to get down to 55,000. That's the collapse mode. If we can hold this blue line, it's at about 55,000. 855 that's what you need to hold if you want to bounce back up if you break through that it's going to go to 55,000 another six something and then it's going to roll itself over if it can't hold the red line so pay very close attention